Hi, Pat Infante here again with another no music, no logo, no frills instructional video. I make what I call get to the point videos about various topics related to photography. If you like this type and style of instructional video, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel and it helps other people uh, see my content as well. And while you're at it, why not hit the bell icon so you'll be notified each time I release a new video. Now let's get to it. As the thumbnail said, we're going to talk about how you add additional fonts to Photoshop. And if you're part of the Creative Cloud uh, program, which most people are, uh, Creative Cloud contains, uh, depending on what level you purchase it at, uh, it contains Photoshop, Lightroom, uh, some other products as well. So I'm using Creative Cloud. Hopefully you are too. So let's take a look. What we need to do is uh, we need to open up a new, or create a new file, just an empty canvas, so I can demonstrate um, how to add additional fonts. So we just go to File, New in Photoshop. I'm going to just pick this here, make sure it's a white background. All right, so I got this white canvas. And what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate how you can basically instantly add, you can choose and add fonts from Creative Cloud, from the library, directly into Photoshop, right on the fly. So for instance, if I go to the text tool and I was going to um, make some text, uh, what I would do is I would typically go up to uh, where the fonts are and, you know, I would see all my various fonts. So if I'm uh, looking to change this to Arial. Uh, let's say this is a test. Okay. Um, I can uh, change it to any other fonts that are loaded. And, and you know, in, in Photoshop, as you highlight the, the fonts, it, they change right in front of you. Okay. And there's a bunch of fonts that are here. All right. But there's also a bunch of fonts that are not here that can easily be added. And it's pretty simple to do. All right, so let's just, uh, let me just leave this up here in Arial for now, okay? And what you need to do is go over to your Creative Cloud application, which is, uh, if it's a Mac, it's in your application folder. Maybe you have uh, an icon in the menu bar. If it's a PC, it's going to be a listed application. So you bring up Creative Cloud, and it initially looks like this. Usually this is the opening screen. It shows you your apps. Here you can see I got Photoshop and Camera Raw, the only ones I have installed. Um, there are others that are available in the plan. And again, it depends on the plan that you've chosen. All right. So, uh, but the screen does look like this for everyone. And if you go down to where it says Manage Fonts, right down here, okay, uh, you will see a list of all the active fonts that are that have been added in other words there, there are fonts that come with Photoshop and there are ones that you can add from Creative Cloud uh, you can disable them uh, notice there's a drop down so it shows you the family of fonts what type of um, type style is available with that font light regular semi bold bold extra bold black not all fonts have all the variations but for instance if I went and clicked on here I would be deactivating that particular font and it wouldn't appear in Photoshop anymore. All right, I'm not going to deactivate this, but that's how you would do that. So now let's just talk about adding an additional font or fonts. Uh, what you do is you come up to where it says Browse More Fonts and you will be taken to the screen here. Uh, and you can type in sample text. Um, I just put my name up there. Okay, and you will see various fonts that relate to the types of fonts that you've selected using the various tags. Uh, first of all, you can choose languages. I have mine set for all. You might want to set it for English or whatever language you may be interested in. Uh, and then using the various tags, you can choose that category of font. And you can also, if you had a particular font in mind, you can also come up here and search by the font's name. Okay. Um, 
let's just take a look at the tag. So for instance, let me go to uh, brushed pen. Okay. Now with brushed pen, you'll see the text that I've entered and you'll see it in all the various shapes and sizes for this particular font family. Okay. As I go down the, uh, the list here, you can see the various styles. You can view the individual families for that particular font. All right. And you can also put in um, various uh, text that you want to test with as far as uh, if you want to see how certain words or your name or whatever looks like in that particular font. All right. And once you find a font that you like, all right, uh, I'm going to go back to all fonts. Once you find the font that you like, you, what you do is you go ahead and you activate it. So I'm going to pick one that I know that I don't have. Um, let's see how we can uh, prove that the fact that it's not there now and it's going to be there after I activate the font. So let's see. Let's go back to Photoshop a minute. So we got this font here, Halard font. Okay. So let's go back to a Photoshop and they were in alphabetical order and let's just see Halard font. All right. It's not there, right? We go from Helvetica and that's all the H's and then it goes to the I's. Okay. So let's jump back to the, um, the font browser again, right? I'm actually back at the browser. Well, when you search the fonts, they do open up in your browser, whatever your default browser is. So this is in Safari. You might be in Chrome or uh, another or Edge or, or another browser. So we were going to look at this Halard. Okay. Um, going to view the font family. Okay. And these are the various styles, right? You got uh, extra light, extra light italic, uh, italics, uh, display light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Halard. I'm going to activate that font. Notice here it says your activated font down here. So I'm going to take uh, Halard extra light and I'll take Halard light italic. And you can activate them all. Okay. So I activated those two. Okay. Now, let's just take a look. Let's just uh, remember it's Halard, H A L. Let's go back to the fonts. Let's go down to the H's. All right. And here, here is the Halard font. So let me do this. Let me, um, let me highlight this text. Let me go down to Halard. That's the one we just added. Notice the little symbol right here. That's the Creative Cloud logo. And it notes that it's been added via Creative Cloud. I'm going to select that. Okay. And if you remember, I loaded two versions, extra light and light italic. So that's the extra light and that's the light italic. So again, it wasn't there previously but it is there now. And again, you can just go back. You can go back to um, all the fonts. You can find a particular font by name. If you saw something that you liked that someone mentioned in another YouTube video, a particular font that they were using and you know the name of it, not all fonts are going to be directly in uh, Creative Cloud. I mean, some fonts come from you know different, uh, different sources. But there's hundreds, if not thousands, of fonts here in Creative Cloud. And again, you can search by name, or you can go by a tag and get bring up a family. You can view more tags as well here and bring up families of fonts. Or you can just search around, find something you like. Maybe you're looking at something for a, uh, a watermark for your photos or uh, a certain design for a, for a card or a project, whatever it might be. And again, that's, uh, that's how you do it. That's how it works. I uh, have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Really appreciate it. And again, this is Pat Infante. If you find these videos helpful, please click the like icon. It really helps others find my videos and helps the channel. 
Uh, consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon. This way, when I release new videos, you'll be notified as well. Again, thanks very much, and thanks for watching.